What's up guys, welcome back to Malt Mondays, and today we're taking a look at the Balveni 21-year-old Portwood. So last week I took a look at the 17-year-old Doublewood, which is a direct successor to the 12-year-old Doublewood. And you would think that the 21 would now be a 21-year-old double wood, but they don't call it that, even though it's a similar process of primary maturation and secondary maturation. Uh, it's actually, they've denoted it the port wood because rather than doing an ex-bourbon and then sherry cask finish, they're doing a finish in port pipes. Um, so this is, uh, David Stewart has said his favorite, you know, Balvenie that they make. Um, and I'm sure that doesn't include limited editions and um, some of the stratospheric whiskeys. But as far as their their standard setup of whiskeys, um, four or five years ago, he had a video uh, discussing the whiskey and saying that it was kind of his favorite. Now, with the 21-year-old whiskey, you're starting to get into the truly older whiskey range. Um, pretty much every brand has 18 years and younger. But beyond that is where you start to really get into the um, ultra premium line within each brand. So um, this retails for $200. Um, so, you know, it used to be 50 bucks for a 12 year old, $100 for a 17 year old, and now $200 for a 21 year old. Well, the 17 is coming up in price. Um, but thankfully, the last time I saw this on sale, it was still uh, right at 200 um, And it is bottled at 43% ABV, um, just like the other Balvenies, um, unless they're single barrel and then they're uh, bottled at a higher proof. But um, one of the things that I, I think gets a little bit, I don't know, um, over emphasized is higher like much higher proof whiskeys while i do really enjoy when um when companies bottle above 40 percent, i i really just say that because there's a noticeable difference the, the lower you get in proof there's a noticeable difference of how thin the whiskey feels in your mouth um and how much flavor is really there well as you go up in proof, the inverse is true because the alcohol starts to anesthetize your taste buds and impact your ability to perceive fl flavor. So while I do really, really like anything above 40%, um, I see a lot of people, especially in you know the bourbon side, um, really focus on cast strength and they want 66, 70% whiskeys. There's nothing wrong with that. I enjoy those as well. But at a certain point, you get diminishing returns. So uh, whereas on the low side, you very quickly, a few percentage points can very quickly make the difference of how thick a whiskey feels in your mouth. On the higher side, um, a few percentage points doesn't make much of a difference in how much flavor you get because you start having the opposite effect. So on to the 21-year-old Portwood. On the nose... The first aroma that I get is old oak, um, and then there's just this perfumey wave of aroma that comes out. There's a little bit of a, um, a sharpness, um, not of alcohol, but of um, like a ginger, like a spice. And then there's orange peels and and cherry and strawberry a little bit. And definitely raisins. And even a little bit of a nuttiness, but but what's odd about this is although those aromas are there, 
they all kind of like, as soon as you start to fixate on it, they, it kind of disappears and gets away from you. So there's something, uh, there's something about the nose on this where there's nothing bad. There's no off aromas or, or off putting smells, but, but every, everything that smells really good in it is a little, it's like too restrained. It's too held back. And if this was a brand new bottle, I would say it's because I need to let it open up in the glass. Um, but because this bottle is getting down towards, you know, the bottom fifth, um, it's already pretty well opened up in the bottle. So normally if it was a brand new bottle, I would say wait 20 minutes or so before um, assessing the, the aroma and the flavor. But yeah, that, I mean, you know, this smells very much like what it will smell if I let it open up more. Um, and, and I've done that, but it really, there's just something, the aroma on this doesn't quite meet the standard that I'm expecting for a $200 whiskey. So let's see how it tastes. <laughs> wow that's really really wonderful flavors when you breathe in it just kind of it just makes the flavors pop in your mouth and it's really really juicy um there's raisins, honey. It's almost syrupy um, in flavor. Rather sweet. And then the finish, um, the the finish, actually there's a little bit of a vegetal kind of flavor right as it starts, as the fruity flavors start to fade away. Um, but then you're kind of, I'm getting now just this really, really soft, supple leather um, from the older oak coming through. It's, you know, I can feel it in the back of my mouth, in the front of my mouth, on my tongue. Um, it's a really, really pleasant finish. Um, I think this is really delicious. Um, the nose, a little, a little lackluster, but... But overall, I think this is absolutely delicious dram. There's a lack of character to it where if it was my money, I think I would buy two of the 15-year-old single barrels um, over this one. Uh, now, that being said, if you're looking for the mo most refined, um, most elegant whiskey that you can get from Balvenie, um, I this is definitely it. Um, this is a beautiful whiskey um but i really don't think it's 80 dollars better than the 17 year old double wood um and i certainly don't know if it's a hundred dollars more than the balvenie 15 year old single barrel um now at this point the 17 has moved up to the 150 dollar price point in my area um so now 50 dollars more mm, it's close, yeah, it's older, um, but I really think this is gonna be a preference thing, not a, this is unanimously better. Uh, I think this is gonna be, do you like the sherry finish or do you wanna try a port finish? Um, and if you've never had a port finish whiskey, it's it's similar to sherry in a lot of ways, but you get, in my opinion, more of the red fruits, um, in this case, a little bit of the ginger that don't off, doesn't often come out in a sherry cask. And then on the palate, you get a more syrupy um, honey and like just a, a lot of times you get chocolate, not so much in this one, um, but it's just got a different character to it. So um, let me know if you've had the Balvenny 21-year-old Portwood, uh, what you think of it in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and come back next week. Thanks for watching.